Jesus. Okay, special products. It's doing the exact same thing as uh, what the last two assignments were. Product means you're multiplying polynomials. But there are some that you see quite often. If you've got, these are them right here. If you've got A plus B squared or A minus B squared, or you've got the same thing but just with different signs. There's a pattern that if you remember it, it just, you can do it in no time. But again, if you don't remember, it's no big deal. You just do it the way we did the last assignments. So they have an example here. 3x plus 4, or minus 4 times 3x plus 4. That's where they get the first things are the same and the second are the same. It's just the signs are different. When you have something like that, when you do FOIL, it's first times first is 9x squared. That gives you 12x. This gives you negative 12x, and that gives you negative 16. So when you combine like terms, what happens? They cancel. Good job, y'all. Those two cancel. There's a plus 12 and a minus 12, so you're left just with 9x squared minus 16. So that's the shortcut. If you ever have the same two numbers times, but the signs are different, really all you gotta do is the first times the first and the last times the last because the two middle ones are always gonna cancel. So again, if you remember that, it makes it quicker. If you don't, no big deal because you can just solve it normally. No biggie. No biggie. Now, when you square A plus B or something plus something squared, Here's the common mistake people make. They'll just square the x and square the 4. You get x squared plus 16. It's close, but uh, not quite. The only time you can do that is if it's all multiplied together. If you had 4x squared like that, then you square the 4 and you square the x. But when they're two different terms, you can't just do that. Remember x plus 4 squared means you got to take x plus 4 times itself twice, right? This times that. So it turns into a problem just like we just did. So when you multiply it, take the x times the x, the x times the 4, the 4 times the x, the 4 times the 4. So when you combine it, you get 8x plus 16. So the shortcut is this. You can just do what we did. You can square the x. You can square the last thing. And then what's going to always happen is you multiply these two together and then double it. So that's the shortcut for that one. Okay. This one's going to be similar. If we follow that same pattern, we're going to double or square this. So you got to square the 2 and the x, so it would be 4x squared. You square the 6, it's 36. And you do the same thing. You multiply these two to get 12x. And then you got to double it again, so it's 24x. The only difference is, is the sign is a minus. So it's 4x squared. It's kind of hard to see, but that's minus 24x plus 36. So if you had 3y minus 2 squared, the shortcut is, Square this, you'd get 9y squared. Square that, you'd get plus 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. Then the middle term, since this is a minus, it's going to be a minus there. And then you just multiply these two together, 6y, and then double it. Now, that's just kind of memorizing the pattern. It's not really teaching you how to do it, but I think everyone knows how to do it normally. 
3y minus 2 squared means you take 3y minus 2 times 3y minus 2. So you can just do it the same way we have always been doing it if you don't remember this pattern. First times first. That would give you negative 6y. This would give you negative 6y. And that would give you a positive 4. Combine these two. Okay. Now, when we've been doing these assignments, when you multiply them, um, you guys understand that foil? Mm -hmm. All that means is, you know, you take the 9w times both of them and then the 3 times both of them, right? Yeah. There's another way you can do this, and some people like doing it better this way. Let me find a spot. Do they have any empties? No, they don't. Okay. And this is how Mrs. Strum does it. So when you have her, or if you have her for Algebra 2, she'll do it this way, which is fine. Whichever way you prefer doing it, doesn't matter. Um, you can make a box like this, and you put one of the binomials here, and then the other binomial on the other side. So it's a 9w, a positive 9w, a positive 3, a 9w, and a negative 3. And then you just multiply the boxes. To get this, you got to multiply these two. To get this one, you multiply the 3 and the 9w. Huh? Oh, you want to I wrote it backwards, right? And then to get this one, you'd get negative 27w. And to get this one, you'd get negative 9. So then you kind of got everything there, and then you can combine like terms. These two are opposite, so they'll cancel. So you're just left with 81w squared and a minus 9. Okay? Just another way to multiply. Um, yesterday we had trinomials that we were multiplying. So you can do this, the same thing. If we had uh, x plus 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 6, you would just make a box like this. You put the x and the 2 here, the x squared, the negative 4x, and the 6 here. And all this does is it just kind of arranges everything for you, and then you just put all the like terms together. To get this box, you multiply these two. To get here, it would be x squared times 2. This one would be negative 4x. You guys quit now. <coughs> negative 4x and x is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x and 2 is negative 8x. 6 and x is 6x. 6 and 2 is 12. So there's all your terms. So you just combine whatever you can. This is the biggest one, so you put that first. Then the x squared, there's 2 and a negative 4 is negative 2 x squared. A negative 8 and a positive 6 is a oops, negative 2 x. And then there's a positive 12. All right? So, like I said, some people like doing it better this way because it just kind of organizes everything for you. If you like doing it that way, you can. If you like doing it the other way, you can. It doesn't matter. So the special products are when they're squared, and again, you don't need to follow the shortcut. You can do it the long way. Take 12x plus 4 times 12x plus 4, but if you remember, this is just going to equal, you square the first, 12 squared is 144x squared square the last and then the middle term is these two multiplied together and then double 12x times 4 is 48x times 2 is positive 96x okay you get the same answer doing it like we did in the past two assignments 
This one is done exactly the same. The only thing that's going to change is it's not going to be a plus in this spot. It's going to be a negative. So you'd square this, you'd get 9k squared. Square this, you'd get 4m squared. And then the middle term is, it's going to be a negative there instead of a positive because this is a negative. Multiply that. 3 times 2 is 6km. And then you got to double it. So it'd be 12km. Squared. Not squared. It's just you multiply the two and then double it. Oh. Yep, so 3k times 2m is 6km. And then you double it. So you just square the first and the last. Right? So you can hear, this is stuff you did way back in seventh and eighth grade, um, using the distributive property. 47, I could write that as 50 minus 3 is the same as 47, right? 53, I could write as 50 plus 3. Correct? Yeah. So, 47 times 53, I could write it like this. And then you could use FOIL to solve it. 50 times 50 is 2500. Zero, zero. 5 times 5 is 25 and two zeros. 50 times 3 is plus 150. Negative 3 times negative 50 is minus 150 which happens, they're gonna cancel each other out when the signs are different. And then a negative three and a positive three multiplied is negative nine. So 2,500 minus nine is 2,493, right? Okay. 63 squared, I could write a 60 plus three times 60 plus three. So 60 times 60 is six times six is 36 plus two zeros. 60 times three is a plus 180. Three times 60 is another plus 180. Three times three is nine. So this adds up to 369. So you add that on to 3,600. 3,969. Yeah. It'd be 2,691. Oh, it's a nine. Yep, you're right. Oh, snap. Snap. Good oh, job, Aries. Aries is the clap. Wait, they need to eat. Seven, dude. You should be. Okay, so we're just going to do a few of these, probably six of them, since it's Friday. Oh, it's Friday.